This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. So Sean, back in senior side, it must be great being back playing footy. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's been a long time between drinks. Uh, I think I, round 14 last year was the last AFL I'd, I'd played, um, and then had you know a pretty consistent um, VFL season this year, and um, you know I finally sort of got the chance to get back into the side. Um, played played an okay game. Was lucky enough to, to keep the spot. So, how do you think the partnership is going with um, with the Van? Yeah, we haven't played together um, too much. I think there was maybe two games last year, and this is the second game this year. Sort of got to get that that sort of team atmosphere where it's he's forward, I'm forward, we switch. Um, yeah, so it's it's going to take time, but it's getting there. Do you think you guys um, complement each other pretty well? Or? Yeah, that's it. Um, you know, we sort of we've got an opportunity where we can both um, play play some good time in the ruck um, and both play a little bit of time forward, so we get to save save our legs and hopefully work the oppo ruckman over a bit. Um, you know, and he, he's um, you know always dominant in the ruck when he's in there. And um, between us, you know, we've been, we do all right in the hitouts, and um, yeah, hopefully have a bit of an impact forward as well. It's a plan anyway. We've got a tough task against Sandilands this week. Um, and, uh, Zach Clark as well, but Sandilands in particular. How, how do you think you're going to combat combat him? Yeah, obviously he's unbelievable ruckman. Um, you know, his size is something that's that's hard to get around. I've uh, played against him a few times before and um, know sort of what works and what doesn't work. Um, so again, maybe, you know, it's just about trying to trying to work him over again. But, um, and they got obviously Zach as well and he's a he's an excellent ruckman as well. And, um, you know, he's very athletic and we've got to watch him as well. Uh, I think Ty comes back next week um, and then I suppose that just, yeah, sort of depends on the tall, tall forward set up and, and how many Ruckman you sort of go in with. Are you confident that you can keep your, keep your spot um, in the team? Um, mate, to, to be honest, it's, it's nothing I can, I can think about or focus on too much. Um, you know, if I worry about it, it's uh, not going to help my game at all. I just want to worry about um, you know, what I've got to do to, to sort of have a decent game of footy and contribute to the team. And um, that's, that's what's going to keep me in if anything does. So that's what I've got to focus on. Do you think the three of you guys can work because you've obviously each got um, different strengths and and stuff like that. You can all work together. Yeah, we're all we're all very different. Um, I know Ty doesn't necessarily enjoy the ruck, so I think he'd like to prefer to start forward a bit. But um, I think I think it can work. I think we could stretch a lot of team defenses as well, being so tall. And I suppose early, earlier in the year, you hurt your knee. Um, is that coming up okay now? Yeah, that's fine. Um, it was funny. I, I had a you know a consistent start of the year in the VFL, and Dimmer kept saying, you know, mate, you just got to wait for your chance. You're playing some good footy, and um, you know it didn't come. And then um, had a had a little clean out on the knee and missed about a, um, three or four weeks of footy, and then had my opportunity after that. So that was a bit different. Um, not the way you'd ideally want to get into the side, but you know it's, it's not the things don't always happen perfectly. So. Yeah. You just have to maintain patience during that time because, yeah, as you said, you were playing pretty good footy in the VFL. Um, it was just about maintaining patience and eventually you'd get your chance. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly it. It was, um, mate, it was very frustrating at times. Um, playing, obviously, yeah, good, good, consistent footy, which I haven't done a lot in my career. I think I've had um, little patches of good footy and then some average footy, but, you know, I've been, I've been playing some pretty consistent football and it just wasn't coming and it was frustrating. Um, uh, you talk to the coaches and they say, look, mate, like, y you can't be doing anything more. you just got to wait for your opportunity. So, um, you know, it's a bit bit hard to handle, but I sort of tried to go into every VFL game with um, a good attitude, try to be a bit of a leader down there. And, um, and you know, the opportunity came and luckily it was against the old mob as well. So it was good to get the win against them. Do you think, like you mentioned, your, your time at, at Carlton there, do, do you think it's taken you this time to mature into like the Ruckman and, and the player that you are um, now? And like, Do you think you're playing sort of the best, best footy of your career? Yeah, I actually think this is sort of um, you know, the best, best footy I've probably played. Um, as I said, it's, it's been a very consistent year in the, in the VFL. Um, being sort of new to the game when I was drafted, I think it was always going to take, take a little bit. It's maybe taken a little bit longer than I would have liked. Um, but that's just the way it is. So I've, I've, I know I've still got, still got a lot more in me as well. It's, mate, it's just about working hard at training, and that's that's the only way you're going to get better.
Why do you think it has taken you that, a little bit longer than what you had anticipated? I don't, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, I, I haven't had a great run with injuries. Had some pretty pretty serious injuries that I've had to sort of battle through, and that hasn't let me get the consistency in my footy. I think at times in, in years, years past, I've had good patches of football, and which have sometimes been interrupted by injury. So the last two years, my body's been really good, and um, you know, I'm just trying to look after it rehab, prehab, all, all the stuff they want you doing and it's feeling really good. Do you think playing the position that you do, it just sort of takes that little bit longer to, to sort of click? Yeah, I think it does. Obviously, um, as I said, I sort of started playing footy when I was about um, 16, so it was a bit of a different start for me. Um, and, mate, there's a lot to learn, skills, um, positioning, just uh, mental toughness as well. All, all those things just to so important, especially for a position like the ruck, which is, you know, the sort of last true one-on-one sort of contests on the ground um but yeah i feel like i'm sort of finally maturing and the body's like i said the body's feeling really good i'm feeling strong and um yeah feeling feeling good and the goal is to obviously keep in the team especially when you guys are sort of pushing pushing for the finals berth um later in the year so that obviously sort of increases increases that hope yeah that's that's the goal you know if i could um stay in the team um you know, as, as long as I can. Um, like I said before, it's going to be about playing good footy, um, and that's that's all I've got to focus on is contributing um, to the team, playing my role, and at the end of the day, that's what's going to keep me in the team. Yeah. On field, you you're pretty settled, but do you think having an off field, um, yeah, sort of getting that getting that in order has been good, and has fatherhood sort of agreed with you? Yeah, um, it, it takes a bit of getting used to fatherhood. Um, uh, not that it came out as a bit of a shock last year, but um, I think when you realise um, <laughs> the the lack of sleep and and just the amount of effort that you have to put into being being a father, it's um, yeah, it takes you by surprise a bit. But that's that's something that um, you get used to, and it's something that I mean, it's it's fantastic and it's it's great. But um, definitely last year, I think it sort of came as a bit of a surprise. But I'm settled and comfortable this year. Does it give you a good balance, do you think, balancing footy with, with your um, outside life? I think it does. It gives you more of a, of, of a routine um, life, I guess. Um, every day, you know, it's very very routine. If I'm at the footy club, that's routine. And when I'm, when I'm at home, you know, he's, um, he's down at certain times for sleep. He's feeding at certain times. Um, and it just, it, it just keeps you active. It, you know, it keeps you off the couch. And um, I, think, I think it definitely helps, yeah. No worries.